Before our 4 p.m. newscast, you'll find a familiar voice, Tamron Hall. You've seen her on the Today Show, MSNBC, and Deadline, to name a few. But in just five months, the Tamron Hall show has evolved and quickly grown in popularity. So what sets her show apart from the rest and what makes it work? Many of you joined me on social media as Tamron Hall gave us a rare opportunity to pull back the curtain for an exclusive look inside her New York City studio. And here's what we found. Before Tamron Hall's live talk show begins, there's a party on the set with disco ball and all, reflecting the diverse audience of 150 who file in to fill these seats. I love this. I love the colors, everything. I love it. I love it. Love the music. The DJ is awesome. I love everything about it. We are over 100 shows. Get excited. We got a rare glimpse of Tamron Hall's energy behind the scenes amid hair, makeup, producer prep. There's a lot of moving parts, final adjustments and show changes, but still big smiles as Tamron turns to my Facebook live feed to give the tribe a shout out. So her toe is broken, she's wearing flats for the first time. She's such a champ. Then with just seconds to spare. 10 seconds, Team Money, break a toe. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, go ahead. As Tamron greets the audience, we make a dash underneath the audience seated in the Bleacher Style studio to capture the other elements of the show. I know you might have noticed how slowly I walked out. It's not because the skirt's too tight, it is. <laughs> but a little different thing here. I have on flats. Yes, because unbeknownst to me, I've had a broken toe for two weeks. From maneuvering camera shots to prepping and interviewing celebrity guests like Amber Childers from the Netflix series You and the Nanny's Fran Drescher, each segment is orchestrated by an army of professionals on the set and inside the control room. It's a lot of work. At just five months into the show, Tamron Hall drives home the fact that her path forged from her experience as a television journalist for 25 years has certainly changed her perspective, especially as she turns 50 this year. Year. So for me at this age that I am now, as a working mom, um, as a newlywed in so many ways, mm -hmm. I have to be able to share those parts of myself because I do want people to know that I'm their friend. That, mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a host of a show. I have a show, but more important to me, I'm your friend. This is a safe space where we're going to laugh and talk together, and it's somewhere every day you can find that friend. I'm not going to be different the next day. I'm the same old Tamron. How do you balance it? Because I I don't. Tamron, you have to Nobody have Nobody balances <laughs> it. That's why I have a broken toe. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to balance it. What happened? No, you don't. I mean, I think that's a part of the pressure. Whether you are a parent working in the home or working outside of the home, yeah. there's this notion that somehow if you take X, Y, and Z steps, you're going to get it right. You're not. Some days you're going to get it right. Some days you're going to get it wrong. And... That's, again, with age, something that I've grown to understand and accept. Taryn, I hear you in my ear every single day. You come on before the show. Literally, I do the 4 p.m. You scare me when you say I hear you <laughs> oh, in my I, ear. You speak You're to me. You're here. I'm speaking <laughs> to you. <laughs> I love that. But literally, at, at like 3.50, whatever, 3.59, like you're wrapping up the show and I hear you in my ear. So people get to hear and see you too as well. But what's the, the one part of the show that brings you joy that we don't get to see? Wow, you know what? Probably right after the show, I get a chance to go to each of the audience sections and take pictures with them oh, okay. and to look someone in the eye and be able to shake their hand and say thank you and connect eyes. That's very special to me because it reminds me that I'm a kid from Luling, Texas, the small town, and no matter what this sign behind me says and no matter how many stations we're on around the country, it's in the end the personal thank yous and the intimate contact with people that bring me joy, which is why we have the live audience. I wish I could be 
every person in North Carolina who watches our show. <laughs> Um, but the reality, that's not possible. But walking through this audience and looking 150 people, 200 people in the eye after the show and saying thank you, that feeds my soul. So you just saw a lot of the behind the scenes, but coming up at five, we're going to have more with Tamron Hall and a nugget of information that I was able to pull out from her that she hadn't shared with anyone else in part two of our Tamron Hall one-on-one -on -one interview. Awesome. That is so cool. You got to yeah. meet someone that you really have looked up to for a long time, and yeah. she not only exceeded your, met your expectations, but exceeded them. That's terrific. Absolutely, Kenny. She was so down to earth and relatable. Right. You know, she didn't come in there with any pretense or anything. She was just so awesome to everyone that she was around. So it was really neat. Oh,